Hi, right, Des. It's Mike. Yeah, can you do me a favour? Um, can you come on round? It's Valentine's um, coming up and we're away, but I'm going to do a fancy dinner tonight. So you wouldn't mind popping round, that would be really good. Oh, wow, okay. See you soon. Cheers, bye. Much. What are you going to cook? Dunno, what you got? Let's have a look. We're going to have a look in the cupboards. Fabulous. Cranberry lay from yesterday. <laughs> it says cream. There's a chunk of tuna in there. Some veggies as well. Right. Um, have you had tuna? Can we use it? Yeah, what can, can we use? use? It? Yeah, you can use whatever you like. This okay. is all sort of been here from last week. and then. So we've got some fresh tuna. That yeah. would do lovely. Tuna steak. What else have we got? But in here we've got salad stuff, we've got mushrooms, we've got parsnips, we've got carrots, there's a red okay. cabbage, celery, right. a bit of rosemary. So there's that and there's okay. some milk. And there's some cheese in there as well. I recognise these. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're very proud of those. <laughs> Alright, what else you got? Right, then in here, you've got a uh, meringue, if you can give me tips on that, right? All the spices. Yes. Um, then we've got, these are different flowers in here. Um, different sort of sweet things like carnation milk, uh, condensed milk, yeah. cream of tartar, all that sort of stuff. Um, crackers, raisins, fruits, nuts, anything that you might add into baking. Yeah. Uh, different bread type things or crackers. Yeah. Uh, cheesy bread from Brazil, always a treat. Different sugars. Okay, cool. Different flours, um, herby things, pastas, uh, cereals, soup things, different yeah. oils. And then on here, you've got lots of condiments. Condiments and different oils. And then, and, and these are your purple eggs. And then my purple eggs. So, beetroot. Yeah, so you pickle boiled your beetroot eggs. and yeah. then put your, your boiled eggs in there to pickle your eggs. Right. So we need to cut one in half and show you. friend's house. What's your name? Mike. This is Mike, my good mate, and his lovely wife Rose. She's just over the back of the camera there. Anyway, look, we're going to jump straight into the food. And right here, I have a purple beetroot egg. Apparently, as you cut it open, the center should be yellow. I'm not quite sure. These were made back <laughs> in Christmas. Ah, Let's have our fingers crossed. Here we go. Drum roll, chef. Go. No! Very, 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 very close, very close. Um, these are pickled beetroot eggs. So you put them into the jar with some pickles, um, some beetroot, some vinegar. Um, obviously you hard boil them and then you put them in. The only thing is, is they've gone a little bit too long as they've really seeped through and taken over. But, mm, mm. they taste delicious. Mm. Good. If you like, then you can react. Go, try right, Um Look, you know Valentine's Day is coming up soon. Me and Rose out. So I thought for a quick surprise, because I'm not doing nothing Valentine's Day. Yeah. Can we can we knock a, a quick meal? Say two course meal or something. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Now, Ro did show me some uh, tuna that we've got over there. So that sounds really cool. I'll get some yeah, tuna to go. And I think we should maybe make a main course and a dessert, you know, just keep it nice and light. Just it is a Monday good. night, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, we've got... Oh, look at those. Good. Yeah, we can do something yeah. with those. We'll have some beautiful peppers. peppers. Nice peppers. Um, an avocado. Oh, an avocado is always good. Um, so, I'm going to go for kind of an oriental feel. Is that all right? Do you have any chopsticks? Um, Make some. You've got a knife and fork. You can make some. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
We have got chopsticks, but where? I've got no idea. Where? Okay, fine. And then we've got hard vegetables in there, but I'll leave those. Okay. But I was just thinking, actually, that maybe we could do something with the cauliflower and then some of that actual pickle juice. All right, let's go at like that. Okay, so tell us where is the power? I need some power. You've got any power? That? This is a um, little boy's toy. Up it goes. So that's your Turn it on. That's plug socket for the socket. entire counter. Yep. Now, how did you get an orange counter? Orange counter, this is um, Rowena. <laughs> we'll meet Rowena later on. Uh, and she's totally fabulous, totally crazy, totally mad, um, but has the heart of an angel. And that's, that's really important. So um, she loves fabulous colors, obviously, by orange worktop. But the counter was actually, 10 years ago, we saw it in the shop window. Right. Or what we saw this color, and it was a, we thought it was an enamel sink. Yeah. Okay. And we just passed by 10 years later, and Rose said, oh, let's go see if they still got that sink. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> Went back to this little um, shop. Yeah. And um, it was never an enamel sink. It was an right. actual worktop. It is an actual know, worktop. Orange worktop. Yeah. So, um, guy talked us into buying it basically. Well of course, that was an easy yeah. one. Now what's this part here, what's this big metal here? Yeah, another little toy, this is the extraction. Okay. So um, obviously you've got nothing above. So yes. another little button. There we go. Another wow. Comes. So you insisted on this part, did oh, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. little yeah. toy. Lights. And then there's more lights. Yeah. And then there the power. You go. You just... And then it sucks yeah. it in and gets rid of it. So this is Ro and she's, I told you she's lovely. She's gonna tell you all about herself uh, and then we're gonna get cooking her beautiful uh, kind of candlelight dinner for her and Mike and then we're gonna literally sneak out the door and get on with our lives so they can get on with their lives. They'll be really, really hosp hospitable to show us around their house and show us everything. And like, There's so much history. Tell us about the history about the place. Well, the, the house was built by um, William Rose who was a poet and a member of Parliament of Christchurch. Okay. And it was built in um, 1796. 1796. Yeah, so it's been standing a long time, changed lots of times, and now we're the very lucky owners of the middle section and we're renovating it yes. back to its former glory. I've seen that you've got some kind of stairs going up to yeah, the aquarium or something. Yeah, we have a turret. It's a turret. Okay. But we, well, what can you do with the turret? Because it's not very big, so we can stick a chair up there. Okay. Um, but we thought, actually, it'd be really good fun. At Christmas, we put a blow-up Santa in it that waves to everyone on the beach. Um, <laughs> but we're going to put fish in there. So we've got um, sort of metalwork fish, fish yeah. made out of Coke cans, wooden fish, yeah. and we're going to hang them. Yeah. So from the, from the beach, it looks like there's an aquarium. Oh, <laughs> that would be good. That yeah. would be good. Um, it's just art everywhere. You are so just expressionate, aren't you? Like, yes, yeah, and loads of stuff is in storage. And right? <laughs> You'll have to come back when it's finished. <laughs> we will do, we will, that's a promise. Um, now, I'm absolutely loving your kitchen and your orange and your blue and just everything. Now, we're going to get on, I want to get Mike back in. Lovely, and we're going to yes. start chopping and dicing and see yeah, what we can good. I'm excited because I'm a bit hungry. Okay. All right, we we'll get on with it. Go, go okay. get Mike, and we we'll get started, guys. I can't wait to get cooking. Oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing. See, it's all serious then when you put an apron up. It is. It is. Uh, do you know one of the things is a lot of people don't tie around, and you're supposed to. Yeah. So if you're at home and you're a mum, you tie like that. Oh, right. right. And, when, and when you tie yeah. tie at the back, um, it's like for no good. Unless your belly's really, really big, and then obviously you can't get around. That's what you want to do. But Professionally, what you do want to do is you want to tie it right around your belly button like that. You've got a nice long rope. I have. You came in with a short one. <laughs> <laughs> that was deliberate. Uh, then you take the corner of your tea towel and pop slide it, it underneath there, slide that back and then you're ready. Like the reason that. for having the knot at the front is so you can unstrip it and get out of it really quickly. And make it. Yeah. And the mail was going wrong. But yeah, exactly. You're on fire. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get cooking. Right. So what I need you to do is you're going to take this cauliflower for me and just cut it in half. We only need half of that. And then we're going to cut out some little florets. Do you know what florets are? Florets are little cauliflowers. Exactly. The little flowers of the flowers. Right? Yeah. So as, as that opens up. So these are the kind of the cauliflower florets. And what I want Mike to do is to cut these little bits and we're just going to make a nice little pickle to go with our actual tuna, just like the Japanese would do. And it's about having the acidity to actually help your stomach digest it. All right. 
and we're going to make a nice slice and then we're going to pan fry that slice. I don't know if you're going to use your big knife. Okay, yeah. About yay big. All right, All right you cut that down. Okay, okay perfect. Very good. Yeah, yeah. So look, that's what we're going to pan fry, okay, on both sides so that cooks really nice and slow. And that's going to be kind of our artistic part that's going to go onto the plate. So we've got two of those, which is just great. They'll be pan fried lovely. So if you can get a pan up okay. and put those on, and then these other little bits will then turn into our, our pickle, all right? Using our beetroot juice. Oh. So how long do you reckon it's gonna take you then to then, you know, finish off the house itself? When do you reckon you can sit back and kind of go, right, I'm done? Um, I would say a year from today. A year, <laughs> <laughs> a year from today. I, I say a year all the time, everything's always a year. Everything's yeah. a year, okay. Right. Get a bit of oil. You're going to get some oil. So while he's off getting the oil, all I'm doing is I'm prepping the little bits of cauliflower just into nice small pieces, taking off the majority of the stalk and just putting them into the bowl there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak it and then marinate it in a little bit of salt. So you could also make piccalilli like this, right? Very old, very traditional, great with uh, ham, piccoli, and turmeric would be the main spice that you would throw into that. But we're going to be using our beetroot juice and hopefully some of the beetroot, if I can get it out of there as well, to dye the actual cauliflower to add some beautiful colour to something that can be a little bit plain Jane, if you will. So, two lovely slices of cauliflower. And then we're just going to put those into the pan and then get them fried off. There okay. you go. There's yours. Alright, put the salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Yeah, and see you can end on there. What was that? Salt. Is that your electric pepper? It is, and yeah. Salt it's the Christmas present. My Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got our cauliflower bits there. Awesome. You've got that over there. Now, what I'd like you to do is okay. to put on a pan of water, and I saw some pasta around here somewhere. I'm going to get some pasta boiled up. Do you have an oven? Can you turn the oven on? Uh, we do have an oven. Good. <laughs> does it work? Yeah, okay, it does work. That's what we're going to be stuffing these beautiful, lovely, sexual long peppers with. Because it's supposed to be for a Valentine's dinner, so it needs to be sensuous. Right, so we're going to split that down the middle. Really easy, alright? Then what we're going to do is very carefully take the knife, cut the pith, okay? Are you taking the pith? I know, I had to say that. And then we're just going to very easily and carefully scrape out the seed because we don't want that. Oh, beautiful. So just over here at the cauliflower, all right? So we've got really good colour. So if you can put that onto a tray now, okay. and then get that into the oven. Right, so I'm scraping out all of the seeds. They're not poisonous or anything, but we just don't want them in there. And scrape that all out. Um, I don't know the temperature. Uh, 180, Big Daddy-O, 180. Right, so two great peppers. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get them into that pan. Get those fried up, a little bit of colour on them. And then we'll put them in the oven as well to get them get them softened up. So look at that. Straight in. Did you use your hot fancy water? I didn't use the hot You didn't use the hot fancy water? Come on, we're on the clock. Right, so he's got this lovely hot fancy watery thing. What, what do I do? Uh, just press down and turn. Turn to your right. There we go. Look at that. Instant boiling water. Look at the steam coming up. I'm getting a facial here. Just work on that. Beautiful. Woo! Okay, stop. Right, there we go. Look at the purple on that egg. Wow, I'm not going to eat another one, though. 
No, no, no. I'm not going to do that. But what I do want to do is take out some of that purple vinegar and then I'm going to steal the beetroot. All right. And it's all about using the things that you've got and also not stressing out about getting things wrong. I talk to a lot of my customers and the people that come to the school and students and they're always like, oh, I'm scared of getting it wrong. I'm scared of messing it up. Like, do you know what? You only mess it up if you stress out about it. If you don't stress out about it, you're not going to mess it up. It's really that simple. All right, yeah. All right. The water is boiling. Look at that. So we're going to whip that open, pour in our pasta. Don't want it too much. That just sounds good. Now we're going to go back to our beetroot, and then with the beetroot, I'm just going to dice it. All right. Then, we're going to put that in there and we're going to add a little bit of salt and I'm going to let that sit there and then marinate all together. It even lights up. Look at that. It lights up. I'm not used to such gadgets. So, the house. Tell me about the house then. So, how did you obviously get it or buy it? How long have you been here? Um, we've been here a year now. Um, it's very um, run down. Um, we got it just by chance because we came down to Avon Beach. Um, normally we would walk um, left and go up to the cafe, but for some strange reason we walked right. And um, for sale, for sale sign called up, um, rang them up that day. 10 o'clock, we were in to look at it. By 2 o'clock, um, we are in for it. <laughs> Fantastic! That's a story. Yeah. So we're going to get those onto your tray. Into the oven. And into the oven. Okay. So, let's get one of those in. Now, have a little taste of that. All right. We're after al dente. All right. They're a little bit too crunchy. Mm. Yeah. But I love this. Look at that. Do you know what type of tuna it is? Or? Um, I don't know. You don't? Did Ro get it? She did. Ro, what type of tuna is it? Waitrose. Waitrose. <laughs> Waitrose tuna. <laughs> well, I guess that'll do, my darling. That'll do. We're going to take this beautiful, how many ounces? That, that, that's probably about a 10 ounce piece of beautiful tuna. And we're just going to slice it straight down the middle, all right? Just like that. So that's what I want you to do, oh, okay. And I don't want to hear that's my portion, that's her portion. Right, it needs okay. to be 50 50. Right, so that's Ray's portion. <laughs> there we go, perfect. Beautiful. All right. That's my portion. That's your portion. Now, with the tuna, what you want to be careful of is because it's, it's not really a flaky fish, it comes in these lines. And as you cut through, you've got to cut going against the actual grain. Because if you cut straight down like that, then the actual tuna itself falls apart. All right? Falls apart. Now, I'm going to just trim off that little bit there. Do you have any soy sauce? Soy sauce, um, I believe we do. Oh, come on. Right. Now, the soy sauce actually isn't for their dinner, it's for us. So, we place the tuna on the plate. Right. We've got some lovely, beautiful, dark soy sauce. And what we're going to do is put a little dash on the plate like that. Then, we're going to Grab a fork. Grab a fork. There you go, good man. Ooh. And uh, we're going to have some sashimi. Because you can't be the chef. Very nice. Mmm. Mmm. That is good, dude. That is good. No bit? Yep. Right, we're going to have to split that last bit, aren't we? There you go. 
Now, do you have sushi? Do you normally have a little bit of sushi? Um, not as often as I like. Okay. I don't think Rose too keen on it, but I quite like it. Oh. Mm, right. That's our snack over.